I believe honeymoon phases exist for just about anything in life. We grow accustomed to our surroundings, things, and even people in our lives, and therefore we begin to underappreciate them without even realizing it. When Sungun and I moved into our perfect two-room villa, our first year truly was full of very beautiful moments. Just past the first year mark, the winter of 2022 ushered in the nastiest conditions I've ever had to deal with in an apartment in Korea. Mold was running rampant seemingly out of nowhere. There was increased moisture in the balcony and also the insulation was already bad. So it was literally leaking and causing puddles on the floor. There were lights literally falling from our ceiling and we would be taking a shower and it would suddenly just turn frigid. Needless to say, I'd finally had enough. And so began our eight month journey of touring over 20 apartments with the hopes of breaking our contract early, which, spoiler, did not happen. Before we get into the tours, I do have a couple disclaimers. First, most of the footage of the actual apartments are vertical. I'm sorry for that, but when you're looking at apartments in Korea, it's a little bit awkward and rushed. Second, you will see both Chunsei and Warsei apartments. In simple terms, Chunsei is a massive deposit that you put down on a place, and when you move out in a perfect world, you get the entire sum back. In order for Sungun and I to afford a Chunsei apartment, we would need to get a loan, which proved to be incredibly difficult, which we will be explaining in another video. Warsei is a deposit plus monthly rent. And in theory, the higher the deposit, the lower your monthly rent should be. I have always rented Worse apartments. To give you an idea, in September of 2021, when we moved into that moldy two-room villa, it was 33 square meters or 355 square feet, absolutely tiny. And we paid 15 million deposit and 670,000 won a month. Third disclaimer, I am dressed differently now than I will be in the actual touring video because I'm filming in two different days. So with all that said, let's get into apartment number one. It was going for Chunsei Eok, which is about 150,000 US dollars. Bathroom was simple and clean. I liked the divider between the shower and the rest of the bathroom. And the bedroom would have been big enough to fit our queen size mattress, as well as a little side table and a black cabinet we use for storage. But that's pretty much it. This whole villa had no built in storage, which is super impractical. Kitchen and living room area was super cozy and spacious. I really loved it. That was the pro for me. But then going into the second room, it looks bigger here, but it was actually super tiny. And again, there was no storage, no built in storage, except for right there. You can see some small cabinets and then our kitchen which is galley style and quite small, not really what I was looking for. I wanted an upgrade in our kitchen. So I was a little disappointed about that. I did see one more unit in the same building. And the only difference really was that one of the rooms was a little bit bigger. So the living room area was smaller and I liked the kitchen better. It was an L shaped kitchen. However, overall, I just, I liked the first unit better. Again, that was not everything that we saw in the winter of 2022. There were other buildings, but I'm just giving you an idea. Moving on. We took a brief hiatus because we were just stressed out. It was not a great time for us to be actually thinking about breaking contract and finding a new place. So from June, 2023, we looked at a villa near us. It was about a 10 minute walk from where we were currently living at the time. We really loved the location. That's why we were initially intrigued by it. It would have been 20 million won deposit and 1 million a month, which was definitely pushing it for us. It was an older villa. So keep that in mind. It's going to look quite different from what I just showed you. So walking into the villa immediately, there's a shoe cabinet to the right of it. There's a balcony, which was great. It was very spacious, but I was very concerned after the disaster in our current place and the dripping in the balcony. Then walking into the kitchen and living room space, I thought it was big enough, but I just wasn't impressed by the kitchen. It wasn't, it was bigger than what we currently had, but not 
as big as I wanted it. And then the fridge was off into another balcony, which just, again, I don't love because it gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter and just the moisture dripping down. I did not love that. Going back out into the kitchen area to enter bedroom to the smaller bedroom. However, it was very spacious. It is an older villa, so they tend to be bigger. The theme is no built-in storage. And then the bedroom was plenty big. I really liked the space of the room. I liked that there was more sunlight. There didn't seem to be any major blockage from the buildings around us. And this was a midday shot, so you can kind of get an idea of the light. And then the bathroom. The bathroom was not at all an upgrade from what we currently had. It was not at all what we saw in the pictures either. So we figured out that this place unfortunately was not advertised appropriately. The place we saw on the app was another unit in the building and that was really disappointing because the bathroom actually looked pretty nice. That was a pass. It was not worth breaking contract for that price. The only thing that would have been worth it was location and more sunlight, but we just decided it's not worth it. Let's keep looking. We got three months until our contract will just fizzle out anyway. About one month later in July, we went pretty crazy with the house hunting. So I'll show you two villas from that period. First villa was Chunsei. It was brand new, great sunlight, center of Seoul, better location than where we currently were technically. Had two major lines intersecting. We were just really loving it. We, we actually put down a deposit to hold it before anyone else could take it. So that way we could go and sign the contract with the landlord later. So we put down basically $2,000. We were very serious about this place. So what you're looking at would have been the master bedroom. Finally, built-in storage. We really could have just fit our bed though and that was about it. Bathroom was pretty standard, much better than what we currently have. Second room, I did not love that it was just a sliding black door. I don't know what I was thinking, but at the time it looked great. The view was cute, spacious for the living area, and the kitchen was amazing. It was wraparound, huge refrigerator, very clean looking, tons of storage, washer and dryer. I think for me it was location in that kitchen. Again, we put down our deposit, didn't work out for reasons we'll explain later in another video. We did get that deposit back. And in hindsight, I'm really glad we didn't end up with that place. I, it just always works out, you know? You always end up where you should be. After putting down our deposit, we actually went with the realtor back to our area and we saw another brand new villa for Iok, or Chanlanwan, Chansei, and it was stunning. This place had its own terrace. I was so stoked. As you can see, very modern, very clean. There was a partition to like give some separation from the kitchen to the living room area. The kitchen had a built-in microwave as well, which I had not seen yet. To the left of the kitchen was the bathroom. It just looks like the style that all the new villas were using. Going into the living room area, immediately you step out and there is this massive terrace. I was shocked. But then I stepped back out and I was like, oh, okay. The inner rooms were quite cramped and that just, was compromised due to that massive terrace. So there was only one room. It had great built-in storage as well as a washer and dryer. But I was like, how are we fitting our bed in here? Because when I was kind of trying to figure out the measurements in my head and think about how big our queen size mattress was, it would have been right against that laundry closet door. It was just not gonna work. We actually were considering pulling back our deposit and going for this place. But then the realtor was like, oh, someone actually just took this. So we went and saw another unit in the same building. So the second unit did not have a terrace, but the bedroom made more sense. It was had storage and space for our bed, which is really all I wanted in that room. And then there was actually a separate room for the washer dryer, which was perfect. I could have also fit my bike in that little slot there. And then the kitchen. I was dying for this kitchen. It was beautiful. It was huge. It was a wraparound style, so much storage. Again, built-in microwave. So I actually, even though there was no terrace, I preferred this unit. I was ready to tell Sunghoon, let's get our deposit back and get this place. I really liked it. One week later, we went and saw a villa that was also, I think it was two years old. So one couple lived in it before and it was in a great area. It was close to where we were currently living. It was calling for Chansei Iok Kuchan Manwan. 
and I absolutely loved the features of this apartment. It was beautiful. Walking in the cabinets, I already was like, this is so American style. I don't know, I just, it felt very homey. The main room, that would have been our bedroom, was huge. We would have easily fit our bed, our black cabinet for storage, and something I've never seen before in my time looking at apartments was there was actually like a proper walk-in closet space and then a fake door, which pissed me off. Going into the living room area, there was a nice huge window and the aircon was up on the ceiling like the others we saw. It was just beautiful. There were no buildings blocking our view. We would have gotten plenty of sunlight. Again, I loved the finishes. Kitchen was a wraparound with a huge fridge. It was just, I was living for this. Second room had windows on both sides, actually window and then a small balcony with the washer. And it was big, it was really nice. The bathroom had a bathtub. I was losing my mind, really. I told someone like 100% we need to get this place, let's put the deposit down. And so we were ready to jump on that. It did not work out, I was so sad. In August of 2023, we finally found our villa. With one month left to go, we were done our long eight month journey. I love looking at new apartments, but I was just, I was losing my mind, I was so stressed. I will be showing you our villa in another video, so I'm not going to get into too many details. But what I will say is we did not end up going with Chunse because we couldn't afford it. We could not get a loan. And we will explain why again in another video. We went with Worse. We put down 50 million won, which sounds really, really insane. It was way above what we originally wanted to. However, we were in a place where we could do it because Sunghun and I together work, so we put in half of that deposit and his parents were able to help us, which we are super grateful for. Again, you do get that money back when your contract is up. We pay 900,000 won a month plus 40,000 won in Kualibi fee, which is just maintenance of the building. The second room is to the left of the front door. I had my doubts about like, can we actually make this an office slash storage space, but it turned out perfect. Bathroom was super small, which was almost a deal breaker for me. But in hindsight, I actually really appreciate that because that means there's more space in the living room area. No building was blocking our view and the kitchen was a nice L shape. Washer, dryer, its own separate room and enough space to put my bike as well. In the main bedroom, the storage was incredible. We don't have a lot of crap. We could easily fit everything we need, both of us, in here. All right, guys, those were the six villas that I wanted to show you. I hope that it was insightful or at least interesting for you to see what brand new villas looked like. We will be doing a house tour next. Before I go, I do have two questions for you and feel free to answer in the comments if you're watching. <laughs> so first question is, what was your favorite apartment out of the six that I showed you? And second question, what would you be more willing to compromise on? Is location more important to you or is the actual apartment more important? Like, would you rather live in a crappier apartment but in a better location or a less ideal location and better apartment? See you next time.